I don't think you're going to see anything uh, more about uh, Kristen Cinema or Kirsten Cinema or Kristen Kirsten, whatever, however she. It's irrelevant now. Uh, yes, uh, but let's just uh, say good adieu or goodbye uh, to her. Good riddance. Um, here is the five crew: uh, Dana Perino, Bill Hemmer, uh, filling in on the five. Um, These are the news people, right? It's surprise, right? They're the more newsy, well, respectable. Well, Perino is a, a Hammer is Hammer, like, right? Right. And here they are talking about uh, Kirsten Cinema, um, who. Well, oh, 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 when you think of bravery, Kirsten Cinema is that would be a waste of time. He said that yesterday on our show. Um, they. they Democrats want to run on Trump is trying to destroy our institutions and our democracy. Well, they are actually saying, actually, let's just blow up all the institutions and the democracy. And remember that Senator Kirsten Sinema of Arizona very bravely, courageously saved the filibuster in the Senate. And how did she pay for it? The Democrats ran her out of town. Mm -hmm. She announced oh, today yeah. she will not run for re-election. There won't be a three-way race in Arizona that probably makes Jessica Tarlov very happy as she sits there and smiles over there because it gives the Democrats might, maybe a better chance of winning that seat if they split the vote. Uh, Jesse, there are three liberal justices. You stupid liberal. Okay. Jessica. Um, just so that we're clear. The idea of democracy is that your vote and your representatives um, reflect what you want and you can participate in the governance more and that there, uh, that there is as little friction as possible between the will of the people and um, what happens in, by lawmakers Except for, of course, we want to protect um, the minority from the tyranny of the majority. Mm -hmm. um, and by the minority, we're talking about people. We don't want people to be excluded. We don't want fascism in that, in that regard. But in terms of democracy, <laughs> the, one of the most anti-democratic institutions that we could possibly have has been the, the U.S. Senate. Because of the filibuster. Well, not just because of the filibuster. It was set up that you couldn't even vote for your senator. Yeah. You would vote for people who would vote for your senator. Or appoint your senator, essentially. And uh, we had an amendment to democratize uh, the Senate more. And then the Senate was like, well, how do we keep the riffraff from controlling what we do? This is our House of Lords, ladies and gentlemen. And the way they came up with that was, we're going to use uh, a filibuster. We're going to make something up that's not a law, that's just a gentleman's agreement. And by gentlemen, I am not being I am not being euphemistic. Yes, saying it was made amongst gentlemen only because they're the ones who can represent. You know, if you can't scratch your balls, you're scratching your head. Oh, and gosh. that's the good good reference. Yes, thank you. And um, they uh, came up with this idea used basically to prevent uh, civil rights legislation from moving forward uh, for a long time, that you need two-thirds of the Senate, 66 out of 100, to uh, allow a thing to be brought to a vote. There has been uh, some change, some more democratic, small d, reforms. Now it's down to 60 but the point being that there is no, there is nothing democratic yeah. about the filibuster. It is a way to obscure what people in power are doing or want to do or genuinely what they're actually, whether they're carrying out their mandates. There is no reason that the Senate can operate like the House insofar as if there is a majority of people who have been elected to the Senate, they will get to vote on it. And remember... That there's a, about a, I don't know, maybe it's 20 to 40 million difference in terms of votes that are represented by red states in the uh, Senate than in the blue states, even if it's 50-50. Because if you're from a, a state like Wyoming that has, what, less than a million people? I mean, how many people are in Wyoming? I think it's less than a million. Uh, 
you get the same amount of votes. Six hundred thousand, actually. Yeah, you get the same amount of votes in a Senate as people who come from New York, where there's millions upon millions of people just living in New York City. Yeah, back when the Senate was was fifty fifty, right? Um, forty million more 40 people million voted more for Democratic lawmakers than the uh, than the equal number of Republican ones in fifty. Yeah, and was she trying to stay, say at the beginning there that it's the Democrats that are trying to undo our institution? Well, that was the undo of the well, institution. Well, this institution, right? But not like the system of checks and balances uh that like is actually enshrined in the constitution or our department of justice or all of the things that donald trump is trying to do where he admitted to sean hannity he wants to be a dictator on day one when hannity threw up a softball saying you're not a dictator right the democrats are the ones trying to undo our institutions biden is an institutionalist by like every single metric available she was part of an administration who oh, yep. attempted to, I mean, aside from the torture, um, they attempted to, uh, or in fact they did, fire a lot of U.S. attorneys uh, who are basically the representatives of the DOJ in the states, operating within the states, who were not uh, finding sufficient numbers of voter fraud so that they could impose voting restrictions on people. And the U.S. attorneys are coming back like, well, I'm sorry, we just don't have any. And if they didn't drum up cases, they were then fired. Is that how Chris Christie got his job? In Chris Christie was one of the uh, U.S. attorneys who was uh, happily doing work for uh, the Bush administration in that regard. But uh, in particular, he was uh, framing a lot of uh, or, or bringing let's Muslim say, uh, people. Yes, he was uh, prosecuting a lot of Muslim people for being Muslim and um, and. Uh, Google Fort Dix 5 and uh, people who have more information on that. And Trump then at the same time was going on radio shows and saying all these Muslim people are celebrating when the Twin Towers fell. But apparently Trump is such a massive shift in the Republican Party. It was so different than the rest of the institutions in the Republican Party up to this point. Yeah, give me a break.